in this tip of the day, let's take a look at the 1CNC section model command to add detail to a solid model. In this example, we're going to be starting with this solid model, but ultimately, we want our solid model to look like this. We're going to put this notch in. All right, so let's go back to our original layer, and let's begin by changing our construction plane. So I'm going to head down to the lower left-hand corner, select our construction plane tools, and from there, I'm going to select YZ construction plane. Now that looks very good, except I do want to move the construction plane so it's located at one of these endpoints. We can easily do that by selecting this very first option called position plane. I'm going to take my cursor and I can snap here or snap here with just a left hand mouse click. Very good. Now with that done, we can close our construction plane tools. Now let's take a look at the section model command. We're going to head down to the lower left hand corner again. This time we're going to select section model. All right, now at this point, we can section our model just by moving this cursor back and forth. You can also type in a value here. In fact, I'm going to type zero in back to reset it to zero. Now, if you click this little pin, that means that the section will be locked in so you can rotate, pan, and zoom. All right, let's create our geometry. We're going to head over to the command manager, select line. I'm going to left click right there. And I want the line to be locked in at 45 degrees. So I'm going to come over inside the command manager and where it says line angle, I'm going to type in 45. Now another thing I'm going to do is I want to lock the Z depth at minus 750 thousandths. So I'm going to type in minus 750 thousandths. There we go. And when we're finished, I'll just click OK. Now I want to change our view and I can do that right in the middle of the command by hitting the space bar once. And then I'm going to tell 1CNC to orientate the view so that it's perpendicular to this construction plane. So we're going to select plane, just like that. I'm going to take my cursor over to the left and left click. I'm going to move up and left click, over to the right and left click, just like that. Now, let's trim these two lines together. Back over to the command manager, trim two. We're going to left click and left click. Very good. Now, we no longer need our section model command active, so let's shut that down. Now we can quickly go back to the command manager, extrude curves, left click our boundary, right click to activate and snap any one of these endpoints, just like that. Now we're going to go into our model operations. From there, we're going to use difference, select the solid that we want to alter, and then select the solid that we want to subtract, and very good. Now, we no longer need that purple geometry, so let's select by color, hit the delete key on the keyboard, and while we're at it, why don't we change our construction plane back to our default XY plane. And at this point, we can add our fillets. It's very easy, we'll head back over to the command manager, into our model tools, fillet, and let's start with a half inch fillet. So I'm gonna type in 0.5, click OK, left click, and then right hand mouse click. Now let's put in our eighth inch fillets on both sides here. So back into the fillet command. Let's change the radius to 125 thousandths. Very good, we'll click OK to that. Left click, left click, and when we're done, right hand mouse click. And there we go, there's a great example of using the 1CNC section model command to add details to our solid model. That's it for this tip of the day. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.